Based and unan unanimously approved and approved by all the clans of Somaliland. The second one, major conference was held in Borama and was the famous, successful Borama Congress in 1993 when we developed the National Charter that became the blueprint for the civilian and democratic system of government that has been in place in Somaliland since that time. And during the Borama Conference, over 500 representatives of all the clans of Somaliland elected their president and vice president, our late president Mohammed Haji Ibrahim Igal, my late husband, and vice president Abdurrahman Aw Ali, a great man. Immediately, Somalilanders had no choice other than to start rebuilding the country on a self-help basis. Somalilanders rebuilt their country without international assistance, without a national plan, without its financial support. We did it without the political recognition that the country deserves, but which has been denied to us. We did it with our own meager resources and, stim and, and were stimulated by the energy and the determination of our people. The Borama Congress was followed by the referendum to adopt the Somaliland Constitution. This was held in May 2001 and was approved by an overwhelming majority of 79% of our people. Not 100%, because we are a democracy and people have the choice to say yes and to say no. <laughs> Voters also reaffirmed their support for the country's sovereignty, which is consistent with the basic human rights of people to seek self-determination as contained in the charters of the African Union and that of the United Nations. In December 2002, we held our first local government and parliamentary elections. In April 2003, we held our first presidential elections. Having then completed a long and difficult transition from a traditional clan-based political system, we moved to a stable, multi-party democracy in Somaliland. We have held several other political elections, which have all been successful, democratic, and which have all been witnessed by the international community. The presence of Sweden as observers was welcomed and appreciated. We are preparing for another fair, free and democratic presidential elections and hope that Sweden will be with us once again. Many recognized countries in Africa cannot boast of such an exemplary record in Somaliland. That is what we call democracy in action. Less than three years after our separation from Somalia, Somaliland became the second African country after South Africa to achieve general and voluntary demobilization of its militia. We demobilized our freedom fighters without international assistance and without international troops to make it happen. We all know how many times demobilization had been attempted in Somalia with the help of peacekeeping forces from more than 27 countries, including the United States of America. And we all know how Badly and tragically, these attempts had failed. We in Somaliland brokered our own demobilization. We paid for it with our own resources 
and then incorporated the demobilized militia into our national army, which is now trained and which protects Somalilanders to this day. Now, 24 years after separation from Somalia, Somaliland is a country of hope, of peace and of determination. Landmines have been removed and over a million refugees have returned home from refugee camps or from the diaspora. Thousands of dwellings have been rebuilt. Major economic infrastructure has been repaired or built. And schools and hospitals and mosques and ports and airports and other public property have been rebuilt. Today, we have an economy that is increasingly attracting foreign investors who wish to do business in Somaliland. Above all, Somaliland has built a society founded on peace, justice and the rule of law. We stand neither for secession nor for the revision of African borders. We respect and reaffirm our commitment to the peace and stability of the region, the Horn of Africa, which includes an unreserved respect for the unity and the territorial integrity of nations. Somaliland was among the first African states to be free from colonial rule, and our demand for recognition implies full respect for the borders of British Somaliland Protectorate as handed over to us at the moment of our independence from Great Britain. And ladies and gentlemen, the good relations we enjoy with our neighbors and neighboring states are the cornerstones of our foreign policy. We strive for a more stable, democratic and prosperous Horn of Africa. Our system of free market economy seems to fully agree with the entrepreneurial character of our people. It is seen in the dramatic economic growth that exists and which has earned us the description of a rare African miracle. Today, we have more hospital beds, we have more universities, and we have more young people attending schools and colleges and universities, more than we have ever had in our past history. We have more advanced telecommunication system, an, ele an electronic money transfer system than many countries in the world. Somaliland has mineral resources that have not yet been exploited. We have oil, we have gas, we have coal, and we have the world's largest gypsum deposit. We also have an 850-kilometer-long coastline that is free from pirates and which is strategically located on the Gulf of Aden. It is rich... It is rich with marine resources and is only waiting to be exploited in order to boost our economy and to create jobs for thousands of our people. <laughs> the deep water port of Berbera serves as a major outlet and in inlet for landlocked neighboring Ethiopia, which has a population of over 70 or 80 million. Berbera Airport has the longest runway in Africa, having been built by the British, extended by the Soviet Union, and then by the United States to become one of the six landing sites for the Columbia Space Shuttle. Did you know that? <laughs> Regretfully, even though Somaliland is a country that can be considered a rare 
African success story. The former organizations of African unity, as well as the present African Union, is spending more time and more effort over Africa's failures and Africa's conflicts instead of giving credit to Africa's achievements similar to the shining example that we have in Somaliland today. <clears throat> Independence and sovereignty for Somaliland is a reality with no turning back of the clock. <clears throat> What remains today is for the international community to come to terms with that reality and to arrive at the only possible and just conclusion, the recognition of Somaliland as a rightful member of the world community of nations. <clears throat> Failing to do that would be a great discredit to human rights and to democracy itself. It would destroy the hard-won stability that Somaliland enjoys today. It could result in another mass exodus from the Horn of Africa that would scatter our people to the four corners of the world again. Somalilanders have had time to recover, have had time to heal emotionally, and have had time to rebuild their country economically, politically and militarily. And from this position of strength, it gives us the confidence to move forward and to extend a hand of friendship and a hand of welcome towards anyone who has the mandate to represent and speak for the people of former Italian Somalia in order to initiate serious dialogue. This dialogue would be based on the goodwill and the mutual respect for the territorial integrity of the two sovereign Somali countries that united on the 1st of July, 1960. <clears throat> This dialogue could become the foundation upon which the two peoples could build a platform for sound and serious negotiations between neighbors, between brothers, between families, so that our people on both sides of the border would find peace, stability, again, after a quarter of a century of troubles, tragedy, and turmoil. The people of Somaliland have made a clear choice. The question now is, will the international community respect the choice of the people of Somaliland? Yes, respect our choice. It's very simple. Respect our choice. We want independence. If you hear the beginning of the lecture, some people care about Somaliland, some people don't. I'm the ones, the ones that who care about Somaliland, and I hope the people who doesn't care about Somaliland can start thinking about caring about Somaliland. And I really do appreciate that if we do, and the world to recognize Somaliland. I appreciate that. So guys, make sure you put comments on and likes and share. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I really do appreciate that. Uh, for next time guys, you know, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.